Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. At a house in Homeby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful. Would no, probably be heavily armed vehicles and those very expensive luxury cars that are parked right on that driveway right there. So clearly a, a very different sight than we're used to seeing. But uh, there you see some of the people that were inside that mansion at the time of the raid. They are being talked to by investigators, by people from the Department of Homeland Security. I could see they're getting their pictures taken as well. So maybe they, they don't know uh, who you know they're looking for or, or who they have in front of them at this point, but again, part of the process of gathering information as to who in particular was on the grounds at the time that they made entry into during this raid. So uh, if we do have a van. Wow. Check it, man. Hey, man, this check it. <laughs> Diddy, man, come on now. You know, man, Diddy, man, listen, man, like I said before, this is just a part two because now they're trying to say that Diddy might be on the run, that he's He's uh, running. I, I hear other stories that he's in Miami, that he's walking. He's been spotted. TMZ followed a aircraft, one of his private jets, over to, um, over to um, some Caribbean island. I don't know. I'm tripping off of it because, like I said, man, usually when them boys come, man, them alphabet boys, they usually already know what they're looking for and already 95% conviction rate. So... I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't know where Diddy is. I know his kids are outside, uh, pre-staged. They're outside, basically, uh, in handcuffs. You've seen that yesterday. More stories are developing. Um, TMZ overnight, like I said, they spotted his aircraft. Um, the aircraft has been spotted, but we don't. We we hear stories that he's walking around in Miami, so he may not even be on that aircraft. But you know. I just wanted to come back in and chime in on this again because it's a trip to me because at the end of the day, you got to understand, man, that, you know, this is this is serious business, man. Um, some people say they can't get him back from out of that country, uh, out of that off that island. I don't know about that. I, uh, <laughs> man, you know, people will trade you out for this and swap it out. You know, these countries swap it out, man, you know. Hey, they don't, it's the same as in the streets, to be honest with you. It's not no different. These guys are, are just in, in suits and outfits, but they still have hidden agendas. And this is the way that the, the game is being played, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. What, what, what do you think is going on with this? Um, how do you feel about it? What's going on? I, I'm, I don't know. Should I call this morning? I guess. Let me see, man. It's early. I'm, I'm going to get some people on the line, man. I got to let me get get my crew up and see if everybody getting what's going on out here. Oh, shoot. Let's see what we got here. I got to have some. I, I got to have some insight in developing news. Hey, give me, give me, give me one minute. Let me, let me add it. This OG Pyru, I told him more. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me add uh, reality TV. Hold on. Man, I, I, I dog it. I hate to get y'all up, uh, but it's it's more developing news, man. Um, I, it's more developing news since we spoke yesterday, and I I know it's early, but. 
I said, man, let me call some hitters, man, some people that may have seen some of the stuff that's happening, man. I'm, you know, I'm looking at what's going on. They say, now just let me give you what I what I've seen. They they say that this this plane, private jet, has been spotted in a Caribbean island. Uh, uh, and it belongs to uh, Diddy. Um, there's also uh, uh, stuff out saying that Diddy's walking around Miami. T TMZ said they spotted the, you know, the uh, they spotted his uh, aircraft, and but but then there's other people speculating that he's walking around in Miami. So I mean, um, but they they most definitely hit all his houses yesterday. So we. I, They seen him in Watts. <laughs> oh, gee, they seen him in Watts. They saw him in Watts walking down 100 Gutierrez. So it's been, first of all, I, I appreciate you for waking me up this early in the morning. I love man, that. good morning, man. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, Mr. Bonesaw, I love your followers, your fans. Your fans are so dynamic, right? Man. Give a shout out to him first. Shout you, out. Uh, these, these, oh, you talking about back. If Kim Porter was dating Alvin Shore, it was not uh, Tupac. He dated. Oh, so they didn't came for you about that? Oh, this old man. Oh, he had to come and clear it up. <laughs> I love it when OG when OG come through and clear it up. Boy, that'd be funny to me because it ain't nothing you can't say that you can't recant. They, 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 didn't, they didn't put it down like, man, you know, I rob banks. I don't know. How <laughs> <it's going. laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's still sloppy second. I'll be sure. Oh, he still takes sloppy. It's the same thing. Why y'all mad at me? Because most of them that was that was coming, they on sloppy seconds too. Man, well, I I wanted to get you back on here because I really value. You know, a lot of people say, "Why you always have OG on there? Why you you need?" Then some people say, "Man, that dude is dope." So you're going to get the yin and the yang of the thing. But at the end of the day, I think the insight is needed. Just the, you know, mastermind concept with reality TV, OG and E with Boss Talk 101, man. I think we can we can speak on it. Yeah, because, you know, well, Giddy, Giddy is, it's, you know, because some white folks can gave him a, a heads up, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I heard he woke up in the morning. And he told his sons, man, go in there and eat some cereal. I'll be right back. And jumped on the plane and got the What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And, and so he left them out here in Hobley Hills and uh, let them, you know, let them take the fall because they've been living the life of luxury. Let them see the other side, too. Wow. And, 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 and you, you, you've been through so much. Uh, uh, give me, you know, your scenario on what it, what it, feel like when 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 them alphabet boys start, come storming in well, you know, I, I, I was like i was saying that if i i understand diddy diddy is the he's the foundation he's the money man i i one one back in the day back in 78 i rolled through elm street one day coming out of buena park and i see the dea at my mother house right and i'm saying oh i can't stop here so i kept going right I got on the phone. I get on at the time we had telephone booths. I get on the phone, call my mother house. The, the DA agent, uh, Frazier, answered the phone. Man, what you doing at my mom's house? It's like, man, mom, come and turn yourself in. We got this, we got that. Or we're going to take your mother to jail. I said, you going to take my mother to jail. So she jumps on the phone and tells me, Father, come over. They talk about that. I said, Mom, calm down. I said, they got a bail, don't they? She had, yeah. I said, well, look. It's better for you to go and let me bail you out for you bailing me out all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't so let me go to jail. I said, but mom, you remember you used to tell me, if you smell the rose, enjoy the smell of the rose, you must endure the thorns. So it's time for you to endure some thorns. <laughs> Ain't no sense in all of us going to jail. <laughs> so said, I can get the boys bailed out, but they can't bail me out. Go, Diddy, go, run. Run, Forrest, run. Well, let me ask you this, man. <laughs> you, um, you know, when you think about just all the stories that's developing and, and, and you know, all the things that's happening with Diddy, man, like, 
is this guy really like, like, you know, can he go? They say in this new Caribbean country, a Caribbean island that he's on, they can't go over there and get him. I mean, if he, if that, if, if where his, where his plane is at, they have no right to go get him. What do you think about that? It ain't nowhere on the planet that a black man can go that a white man can <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. His black ass is stuck out like a, some cottage cheese. They will send them proud boys over there, wrap him up, and throw him over on the other side of him. He's like, he'll be looking at them three letter boys. Wow. I thought they said, I thought they said that um, they didn't see him get off the plane. Right. Well, what well, well, reality TV? If this was your man, you know, uh, you know, because I think he date he was dating that girl, Miami. What was her name? I'll be just like I, you know, Miami. I'll be just like. Her. What is she I doing? Mean, what is she doing in this situation? She been separated herself from me. Oh, she got out. She didn't hold she him down. She got to him away. <laughs> she got to him away. Yeah, she's out. She's out. Yeah, 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 well, you know, some people are some people are upset with everybody because I heard uh, one guy was saying that, hey, man, you guys are quick to jump on the bandwagon of taking Diddy down as blacks. We got to do better and we got to, you know, we got to try to look at upholding and why can't the people come together and try to get together and try to rally up and say, hey, you guys, y'all doing you got you done did R. Kelly. You did Bill Cosby. You done defamed so many at, at, at so many different times. You you took down a lot of different people that was striving with a hidden hidden agenda. You know from Larry Hoover, all these different people that we see that yeah they might have had their little issues, but who don't? And why is ours magnified so much? Sure. And I you know and I agree with that one hundred percent. And it's 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 a tragedy. That we allow that to happen, but all them people that ask why they ain't up picking up a gun trying to get nobody out, they sitting up in their living rooms eating pork chop sandwiches, arguing about what we talking about. Right. So it's basically the same thing. It, neither one of one of us is talking and saying how the story is developing, and another one is sitting back saying why aren't we uh, getting behind him? We both kind of doing the same thing, just talking. Doing the well, same thing. Well, why nobody stops him from the start? Why do it have to be, oh, now, um, why we can't come together? Why we couldn't come together to stop him? Because it's obvious that people already know what he's doing. Just like we let R. Kelly get away with situations as well. Well, you know, uh, all I know is... Yeah, because like I said, R. Kelly, I mean, you know, he ain't did nothing no different than Elvis Presley. He ain't did nothing no different than than a lot of those different people. You know, even... What you said about R. Kelly? What did he do? These a uh, lot of these girls, their parents put them on flights to go to see R. Kelly, and they asked me to be in jail too. But they're and not. Money fell off. They want to blame R. Kelly. But back to to Diddy. Now, allegedly, I heard from a source in uh, Hobby Hills that do security up there that uh, Gene Deal then took a deal. So his ex bodyguard, this is what bringing this all into fruition. That that's the crazy thing we tell on each other for a deal. Mm -hmm. Are you so saying that his bodyguard then did a deal and sold him out? Allegedly. Allegedly. They, huh. they say Gene, Gene made a deal. Wow! Wow, man! You who can't? You know, as as people go on, man. We know that a lot of those people that are speaking up, some of them are hurt. Some of disgruntled people who he let go. Some of them are people that pretty much uh, thought they should have gotten more than what they got. They signed on the dotted line, and when things didn't work out for them, now they're on these. They're facading around the internet, going and signing paperwork. And a lot of times, you know, it's it's feeding right into what the schema thing of everything that 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 our uh, 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 big brother or our officials are wanting to see play out anyway. So you 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 playing the game the way that they wanted they they wanted to play that way anyway. So it's an easy win. Yeah, and that's that's exactly and and and, and Mr. Boss talk. I wanted to ask you as one of your undivided attention listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you you made this the statement that Diddy done so much for the for for us. What the hell did he ever do? Well, when I say that, you got to think about it. He put a few people in positions that was around him. When I say that, you know, you know, a Feeney Shakur, uh, uh, not a Feeney, but uh, a Biggie's mother. What's her name? Miss uh, uh, Wallace. She, you know, you you think about Miss Wallace. Of course, her son is gone, but I'm pretty sure his kids and all that. I'm pretty sure Diddy played play part in their life. And I'll be sure, son, if we got him on the phone right now, uh, uh, what you see in the media and way they t carry out is he acts as if that's his son. So there are a lot of people that are touched by this guy and that feel like, you know, what he done for us for hip hop, uh, Mary J. Blige, all the people that she affect, they're going to say, hey, you know, this guy put us in position. So that's that's where I'm coming from with. I'm not saying he helped everybody. Now, you got people like you and I or me for sure that I've never gotten a dime or, or, or anything when it come down to anything that he done for me. But I, I, I'm i in the South. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't expect him to do nothing for me. But we still block and need me. He could have reached. He got a billion dollars, right? According to the numbers of the digital world, he's a billionaire. Had some change on down to us. Well, I definitely bought into some shun, John, and I supported what he was doing as a black man. I own a clothing yeah. store. We sold Sun, Shun John for years before he took it. And you know what he done with it? He he, he inked a deal with uh, Mace, Macy's and he basically made a lot. He made out good with that for years. Nobody wasn't even buying that stuff. It was just sitting on the shelf. And he was he had a deal where Macy's was buying and he was, you know, he had them in the headlock. People don't realize that, but it's a lot of times, man, in business, people are doing things and strategically knowing it's going to work to the worst for somebody else, but for the good for them. And they hold people in a position till they run their whole business out. out. You got a lot of stores closed down behind some of those bad deals that he had. That Sean John was just sitting in there a lot of time. You know, you know somebody that's being quiet that I need, need to speak up. Who is that? J-Lo. J-Lo? What the, what the hell J-Lo need? J-Lo done had eight husbands since she was with him. Yeah, it's a lot of them, man. When you look at it, she came from Living Color. I know you probably don't remember that a reality TV since you're a little younger than us, but she came from Living Color, and it was a few people that left that show. Uh, that that uh, what's that old boy name? The the one I always see him too. He uh. Uh, Kurt, what's that boy name? The one that the white guy on there that uh, oh, oh, oh. Jim Kerr, Jim Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. He oh, never. I don't think he looked back either. Like Jim Carrey, uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. She she kind of she poked her head in on the, on on our side. But without P Diddy, we wouldn't have really never kind of even recognized her. So I think P P Diddy was really her lunch pad. Yeah, but this, and I'm going to get, get back on this Diddy thing for a second uh, before we get off here, man. Uh, will Diddy surface today? That's the question. Get in the comments. Let me know. Will Diddy surface today? Will Diddy, where is Diddy? Why hadn't he made a statement? Is he on the run? Is this just, is this fluff? Did they already make arrangements? I don't see how when his kids is handcuffed and on the ground outside of his out homes. I don't know why they would be holding them, detaining them, and doing such an out. Who are they looking for? What are they looking for? What is up with this whole situation, guys? Thank you, guys. Hey, uh, I, I want to just say, man, uh, uh, OG Pyru, uh, Atolomar, Ayatolomar, and, and, and Reality TV, I appreciate y'all, man. Um, we, as the story develops, man, I'm, as I'm dealing with this story, I'm definitely going to try to call y'all back if you're available. I appreciate you, man. Let's just, if you hear anything, give me a call, man. If you hear anything. I want to say, I, wanna, I, wanna, I do want to say this. I hate that the children are going through this because this is 
traumatizing no matter what nobody say. It's very mm-hmm. traumatizing. It's the girl's senior year mm-hmm. of high school. And they whole senior year is going to be destroyed behind someone else's action, regardless mm-hmm. if he did it or not. And mm-hmm. I do want to send a prayer out to his children, even mm-hmm. the boys, because I don't know what's going on. I just want to Send a, a shout out of prayer to them. Yeah, man, because they, like I said, they young, man, and whatever they going through, um, you know what I mean? They definitely, they, I think they'll be okay. Um, uh, I mean, we've had black people throw it on the ground uh, that didn't have what they had. So, you know, um, I think they're strong. I think that they, they lost their mother. Well, I, I think, I think, you know, I think they're going to be all right. I really do. I think this is going to make them stronger. I really do. Yeah, they're gonna be rich and they're gonna get stronger, and they're gonna be they're gonna be dope uh, uh, citizens. And you'll see them from years to come, and they'll influence uh, your children's children with the with the ecosystem that they're dealing with. I believe, um, yes, man. Thank you guys, man. Hey, man, it's been a hey. Listen, another great segment. This is a Boss Talk One Hundred and One review. Make sure you join the membership, like and subscribe. Uh, Hey, man, listen, man, say, man, thank you guys, man. And hey, man, let's run these numbers up, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Boss Talk 101, what a bossy talk. It's coming. We love you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.